How are we fellow supplement lovers? It is Stipe back here, just doing another review. Um, today's review was one that came accidentally. I popped into my local nutrition warehouse. That's kind of the store that I typically go to here in Australia. And I was looking to pick up just some protein powder and maybe some type of pump formula because they had a little bit of a sale. I think it was 20% off. Um, I ended up buying something I did an initial review on, which I'll do a full comprehensive one, which is their Accent Sledge Hydraulics. Um, while buying that, the lady there pretty much said, hey, have you tried their seventh gear? Which is, I think, more of their, I guess, strong pre-workout that they do. Uh, I said, I haven't. I haven't really even checked it out. Uh, she ended up giving me two sample packs to try. Ended up getting this one. Um, she just wrote on it, lemonade. Fuck it, shocking, it tasted like lemonade. Um, so I figured, it, yep, I'll give it a shot. Um, I assumed it wasn't gonna be like some crazy steam junkie pre-workout. Um, I've only actually heard up the nutrition label for it now. I have not even checked it yet. So first and foremost, let's actually go with the flavor. I've got lemonade. It's pretty decent. It's, uh, I tend to notice Axe and Sledge's Flavoring is very subtle, which I like. There's no like aggressive taste or anything in it. Um, all right, so I've got it up here, the ingredients list. All right, so it's a one scoop for 9.8 grams, 30 servings per container. First and foremost, you start off with beta alanine, 3.2, nice, good dosage. That's standard clinical. Um, you got betaine and hydrous for some power output. You got that at two grams, decent dosage. You've got magnesium, creatine, chalet. Now, from memory, that's like a combination of two compounds and it helps induce, uh, sorry, helps improve endurance, muscle fatigue and everything like that and increase energy. That's good. We've got the good old trusted choline bitartrate. I don't mind that it's an ingredient that I don't tend to find is that amazing, but it is a, I mean, one of the most, Typically seen ingredients inside a pre-workout. Alpha GPC, and a tropic, you got that 200 milligrams. Look, I'll prefer alpha GPC a little bit higher than 200 milligrams, but it's in there, which, I mean, I can never complain about that. You got tear cream at 100 milligrams, caffeine and hydrous at 350 milligrams, and then also decaffeine malhate at 50 milligrams. That's a quite a bit of, like, you got, you got tear cream, which kind of acts similar to a caffeine and then you've got decaffeine malate at 50 grams and caff you know your standard caffeine and hydrous at 350 milligrams so it's actually quite a bit um which a surprising amount for like a youtuber usually the youtuber companies and you know the pros end up having pretty fucking average labels uh, a lot of them have gotten it better now um i think it's because they're getting a competitive market and People are just moving on to the next product if you produce some garbage, and it's happened with so many of them. Uh, you got black pepper extract, five milligrams, and you got toothed clubmus. That's a hooperzine. We I've never seen that name before in my life. The tooth clubmus. Yeah, but it's just hooperzine A at a hundred uh, micrograms. Now, the ingredients panel is actually pretty decent. It's nothing crazy. I think a little bit more pump ingredients wouldn't hurt with this. Um, I think that would make it a more well-rounded, uh, how would I put it? If it was up to me, what to me this looks like, it looks like it's meant to be a bodybuilder's um, pre-workout, but the caffeine's a little bit high because I wouldn't want to be taking 350 of anhydrous, 100 of teacrine and then decaffeine malate at 50. Would I want to be taking that every day? Probably not, you know, just God honest truth. But I'm, um, Overall, the ingredients panel is pretty good. I would like maybe a gram of agnetine sulfate or some glycopump or something like that in there just to round it up a little bit more. How did I take this? I took this twice. I took it once by itself and I took it once as suggested, which is stacking with hydraulics. All right. By itself, this felt like a decent daily driver. Um, it's pretty good energy. It, the beta hits pretty nicely. Like everything hits nicely. Um, and it hits for about an hour to an hour and a half. So as a daily driver, I think this is good. The only thing is I think it's a little bit high in caffeine. 
I would prefer to see 100 less milligrams of caffeine for the anhydrous and maybe one gram of agmatine sulfate. Personally, for me, I would think that would make this a really well-rounded daily driver because personally speaking, I just don't like taking that much caffeine as a daily driver. I mean, that's, you know, three and a half, half cups of coffee's worth of just anhydrous plus you got and teocrine and the caffeine melate. You know, it's just too much for me. Um, can I handle it? Yes. Do I want to is the question. And the answer to that to me is pretty simple and it's no. Like, I don't need, I, look, you don't really need any caffeine to do a workout. If you do, then really reconsider why you're taking these pre-workouts. It's meant to be a supplement. It's not meant to be your go-to must-have. It's just something that is an add-on to the workout, something that can push you a little bit further or something you take when you've had a long day at work, maybe you didn't get enough sleep. That's essentially the way I see it. So with it on its own, it's quite solid. Um, but I have to say, when you do mix it with hydraulics, it's a, a much better kind of combination. Obviously, it's a much, much pricier combination because you are mixing, you know, a fucking pump formula, which costs a fair bit. And then this one, I don't know what the price is. I'm not going to break it down for you. I'm on Elite Subs, so I'm better you here in Australia and it's saying it's 70 bucks and there's some discount code and there's cash back on it. So it's not that pricey considering it's a 30 gram scoop. In that sense, look, you're getting a decent quality pre-workout with 30 scoops for nothing crazy, something that won't break the bank. But yeah, with the combination stacked, you really cannot go wrong with it. I mean, the pumps are just absolutely nasty. Like, just so nasty. And by the sound of it, considering it doesn't have, um, like, any real pump ingredients, like it doesn't have citrulline, doesn't have agmatine sulfate, it doesn't have glycer pump or anything like that, that's where the match with hydraulics does seem to make sense because there is absolutely no um, citrulline, like none. Uh, so my guess would be they're almost baiting you to buy them together if you want the maximum product. But when you put them together, I mean, fuck, you do definitely get that. Uh, you really feel like it's one of those pre-workouts when combined where it's really good energy. And I think the urgency of it creates this focus where you just want to get shit done. It's not too steam heavy, um, but it's still strong. And the pumps are gnarly. Like, they're just so strong. Uh, the beta in it is nice. The the endurance in it is nice. Like, uh, today's workout that I did, it was a push workout, prioritizing just chest, really. And because it's one of my lagging muscle parts currently. So, I mean, I was getting through set after set after set. And my fatigue was disappearing quickly. My pumps were nasty. I mean, just absolutely nasty. And as I've mentioned previously, I've had an injury for my left shoulder. So I haven't been able to really keep up in the shape that I want to be in. Lost a bit of muscle mass, gained a bit of body weight, is what it is. But I look pretty good when I combine these. Not great, but you know, like a decent type of shape. Would I recommend either of these? I, I would, I would recommend them. Do I think that seventh gear is better than let's just say like an ABE or a Steam FX or a Hooligan or any of that? I don't necessarily think it's better, but it's different. I personally prefer something like a hooligan stim effects as like a everyday pre hooligan on half a scoop. I prefer stim effects because it's you get a great focus for two. I think it's 250 mg of caffeine. I mean, you're not going to find that at much else, and it's great flavor. This one I found if you want that urgency. This one I might put above them. Obviously, Hooligan out of full scoop just blows all of these out the water, but then it's not a daily driver because there's too much caffeine. When you mix it together with this, it's fantastic. Like it is, you could do, honestly, if you were a beginner, you could do three quarter scoop of seventh gear mixed with just one scoop because this is a double scoop at full serving and you would get a great, great workout. Like this is, you're not going to get a bad workout out of that. Unless like you're just feeling shit that day and nothing's going to help you. So yeah, overall, I'm I'm really, really liking the Axe and Sledge supplements line. Because so many of these YouTubers that get famous, I mean, 
they because they have a crowd that follows their every word and typically when it comes to youtubers that are known for their lifts or they're known for their content they have a lot of fans that have absolutely no idea what they're getting sold so those companies tend to really just want to produce the most cheap quality low dose bullshit ingredient kind of panel and just go, here's this, you give me 70 bucks and for them to make this cost fucking nothing, you know? I get why they do it. I think it's wrong, but I get it. You know, you gotta look to some people like uh, Chris Bumstead, like the one he, I, I don't have it. But you know, you look at that, that's a stack pre-workout. You look at um, Fawad Abiyad, I haven't tried his one, I think it's Bloodshot or something like that, Hostility. But that's a stack pre-workout. Could they both sell you bullshit and half the dosages and half the quality and just fucking rape you of your money. Absolutely. But they choose not to. They give you a more respectable pre-workout. That's what these two are. Obviously, I don't have a bottle for this, but that's what these two are. They're giving you something that actually works. Do I think it's as good quality as, say, Hooligan? No, I don't. I think the Polar Nutrition is as elite of quality and dosages that you'll ever receive. But it's still fucking very, very solid. And you just, you can't really go wrong with it. Look, hope you enjoyed that uh, review. Uh, my next review coming out will be Dark Labs Flame. I wanted to have it come out a little bit earlier, but obviously that's a strong pre-workout. And it's one that I want to try a couple of times at least. I've already tried it twice, but I want to try it one more time before I you know, give a full comprehensive review on it. And I want to space out because fuck Flame's just way too strong for me to take, you know, today and then in three days. I want to take that maybe once a week and even that's pushing up. All right, hope you guys had a lovely day. Take care.